So I just wanted to come back to this PyPico W and the little web server I've put on it. I mean, it was a demo web server from the connecting the Pi Pico W to the internet. I've tried a little bit with style sheets, but I couldn't get that to work. So I'll come back to that later. Just having a look at this now, if I start this and it still connects to the network. And if I refresh it, then we get different requests that are coming through uh, asynchronously onto the server. So if you notice there's several requests coming through at the same time, we've got the fav icon coming through. Uh, so this is capable of uh, responding to a couple of different requests at once. And it seems to be OK doing that. So I thought what I'd do today is let's just uh, turn the LED on to begin with and just remind ourselves of where we got to last time. So I have to add that to the end of the file now. And that's turned well. Traffic can now move from the right. So I thought what I'd do is just to see if I can work out how to on this web page make it so that I can just click on a button as opposed to changing this URL each time. So first of all, I mean all this all sorry, all that bit does here is add some HTML to the page. So I'm gonna to add to that. So the HTML for a link, well let's say what we're gonna do, let's just put change first. Change direction. So if I stop that and start it again and refresh this we've got that extra bit of text at the end of it so let's change that into a link now so to change that into a link we have to do a href we'll come back to that and change direction then get rid of the a at the end of it so i'm hoping now what will happen just by putting that tag around it is if i restart it it'll make this go blue and make it into a link although the link doesn't go anywhere so let's yeah so let's change it into a link change it into a purple link because i've already been to that but that doesn't matter so if i clicked on that now it's not going to do anything really all it's doing is starting that page off again so all i have to do on this one then so this is moving this is light on all i've got to do really is go to that as a link i think so let's see whether that works so I'll say there, go to light off. Now I might have an issue with the speech marks here by the looks of it. So I might have to double up a speech mark. In fact, let's do that now. It's only going to moan if I don't. All right, hopefully that will escape speech marks in. Let's see. And of course, refresh the page. Ah, now look, it's changed colour. It's gone to blue now. That's because I've not been to the off page yet. I mean, it's not really off. It's just changing direction. So let's try clicking on it and it's changed the direction so that's done what i wanted but of course it's now not doing it there because i need a similar thing on the other bit where it adds to the left so let's change that and then that's just got to change back to on so let's run that and refresh that so now if i click on this change direction change the direction so really although that says change direction the same on both of them it's linking to a different location on the on the little pico well a different location in the request anyway so that's a little bit more user friendly isn't it now the one thing i didn't like i'm not sure how i'm going to do this but when you go to the front page of here it doesn't have anything to start with so you've got to work out to do light on light off so a way to do that i would imagine is let me just grab that bit of text there and it's hard to work out where how to do this because we we want to put it there we want to put two things there really so this bit here alters that status so i think what i need to do is another check let's see if i can work out how to do this then so i'll say if led off equals minus one which is when this bit here doesn't find um, light off in it. And then I think I can put an and here and led on doesn't equal minus one. So that should check for both of those conditions. Then I will set the state is, oh, in fact, let's grab all of that. State is, and let's say, so that's moved from left. So let's put a link there that says, light on and move traffic from left hopefully if we've got this the right way around i'm going to put another link up and just because i'm old school let's just put a little 
pipe in between it but it's got to be off and move traffic from right so what I'm hoping this will do is when you get a response if neither of those are in the request that comes through so neither of those both of those are set to minus one then just set the state to a couple of links no idea whether this will work I think I've probably got the oh no I haven't syntax error in 90, 90, 97 all right I must have uh, missed something off okay move traffic from right oh let's close the speech marks that was easy stop that and start that still syntax error on 97 now what have I done is it this uh, and that's not working let's take out that for a second right okay so it's that and that wasn't working one moment please while I work out what's the is it just and let's try that oh it was and okay all right after all that <laughs> that's interesting though so that seems to be working so let's refresh that and then we've got move traffic from left move traffic from right i'm going to put a couple of brs in the middle of that uh, which are just line breaks in html so let's just sort that out so now i've got move traffic from left move traffic from right and what i really hope is when i click on one of those it will set the first state this is obviously on from previously but it won't show this this move traffic from left and move traffic on right on the subsequent pages right excellent all right so that's a little bit about html there a little bit about the and command because it's been so long since i've used uh, python i'd forgotten about that what to use there but it's shorthand it makes sense or shorthand but i hope you found that interesting so just a little bit of enhancement to our little web pages it's now essentially serving three different web pages on the pypico w so the next thing to do is to try and get this to serve a css file i don't know what i'm going to do about that anyway if you enjoyed it please subscribe and bye